After a decline lasting several years, the Danish capital's exclusive northern suburbs, known as the Whiskey Belt, are seeing a surge in prices. The 15-mile Gold Coast earned its nickname in the 1970s as a way to distinguish the aspirations of its affluent residents from an otherwise egalitarian beer-drinking society. One of the area's most sought-after streets is the coastal road of the Tarbeck neighborhood, nestled between the sea and a forest. Currently, one of the priciest homes advertised in the greater Copenhagen area is a seven-bedroom, five-bathroom waterfront mansion with an asking price of $13.9 million. Right now, a 1950s waterfront home in Bedbeck by noted Danish architect and designer Arne Jakobsen is on the market for $8.9 million. Nearby, another notable modernist waterfront villa from Danish architect Henning Larsen has an asking price of $5.7 million. Also on the market is another gem by Arne Jakobsen, a landmark 1930s modernist villa. The 6,600 square foot home also boasts up-to-date amenities, like a recently designed swimming pool. The asking price? $9.8 million. Kim Bjornstrup recently returned to Denmark from a village near Zurich. He moved to a seaside neighborhood of Hellerup that is widely considered Denmark's prime residential neighborhood. He paid $4.1 million for a six-bedroom, two-bathroom home in 2012. Prices then hadn't started their rebound, and he got the property at around 8% below the asking price. Copenhagen saw its real estate market suffer along with much of the rest of continental Europe. Now, as the Danish capital begins a comeback, the Whiskey Belt is coming along for the ride.